Hi there and welcome to Bustonet. Yes, this is another season with Kingstonian. We're in the championship. It's the unbelievable. It is very unbelievable that we are in the championship, but we are in the championship. And we are telling our team to on team cohesion. So many new players. Hi. Uh, hardly any um hardly any match preparation. So um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I'm still working on cohesion, so I, Forget about match prep. I mean, they will, they will do some small amount for match prep. Uh, we have a match coming up. We've done our scouting. We've still conti going to continue to build this up. We have assignments. We've got six coaches. We've got two guys working the Sky Bet Championship to look for play uh, to look at players. And then I want to open up um, and get more information on the teams when I head on down to play against them. We've got a Basically, we have a whole new team. So this is the episode three. So I've already covered um, things like the transfers, our strategies thus far. We've got a couple of players we nicked from some of the other clubs. And well, the goal is to play one or several tactics. Karamba, my four, one, two, two, one. My four, three, one, two. And of course, Milano Chipamonga, which is my... 523. Yes, that is a message that tells me that for today's game, we are going to use Milano Chipamonga. Now, the thing here is this. I want to... Yeah, we, we know that the three-man striker systems aren't easy for the AI to handle. Conversely, when they use a three-man striker system on you, there's a unique way. I mean, I won't say it's a unique way. It's a commonsensical way to handle them. So I, I find it's very easy to defend against a three striker formations in the game. It's very simple. And one of the reasons why I'm going to play a 5-2-3 for, I think, the better part of the season, some of you may go, uh, oh, he's exploiting the game. No, actually, I want to increase uh, familiarity with the 5-2-3 and how I use it so that other people get some ideas. I mean, if this five, if a three-man striker formation is going to be an exploit, then we've got all these uh, FM Cup competitions uh, in versus mode. You, I mean, how would you feel if somebody were to use uh, a three-striker formation and you know how to handle it and he goes in and wins 25,000 quid? It's going to be annoying. So the debate is up on whether how how strong these systems are. I do believe three-striker systems are very strong. Whether you play them in a 5-2-3 or 4-1-3-3. Three, three, no, sorry. 4 <laughs> <laughs> 4 one 2 3 or 4 three, 3 So it depends on which configuration you want to choose. I personally like this configuration. It's my favorite um, configuration where I actually have a, a DLF and two advanced forwards. I also have one with two DLFs and one advanced forward. So there's many ways I'll play this system. For today's game, I'm actually going to use advanced forward and attack with two deep line forwards on support. So this is going to be uh, one other way of playing it. So these two guys are going to feed into this for this guy. But the one I personally like is this. The DLF on attack feeding the advanced forward on attack. So this is a bit more attacking in orientation because this guy drops and he feeds uh, these two. So this guy becomes quite important. We've got two midfielders. Uh, in midfield, both of them will be closing down more, marking tighter. And then we've got wing backs as well as uh, a three man defense sitting at the back. Okay, so we are playing against the team called Birmingham. So, how are we setting up? We've got DLF on attack. All I need is strength passing decisions. Decisions is nine. Not that fantastic. But Pope will have to do. Uh, I have other players like Horatio Hurst, we brought in. Uh, we've got Tyler Brownsword. He's going to be in my halfback system. I'm playing him as a halfback. We've got Mackenzie. We've got Kite or Kate or whatever his name is. But I probably won't go with Kate in this match because uh, this doesn't give me much, plenty of options in midfield because then it's, it's dangerous. Uh, we're going to leave our midfield too exposed. I might go with Rob Howard with him in midfield. Howard has some steel. Uh, it's only 11. Um... We brought in McKenzie. McKenzie is not a bad player. He is not bad either. Uh, his anticipation, his work rate is pretty good. Howard's work rate is also pretty good. Teamwork is there. Decisions uh, off the ball is only 7. Solomon Sambu's off the ball is a lot lower at 5. So we're going to use him. Charlie Kla, he's still suspended. <laughs> 
last season, he ended the season, I mean, I was so, so pissed off with him. Because uh, he almost cost us, uh, cost us, he cost us quite a lot, actually. We've got Tyler Brown, so Horatio Hurst. Uh, we have one more player, his name is Taylor. Ah, there he is. Taylor. Uh, so we've got Tioff and Penfold. Now, I have a plan to use really fast strikers. I've got Jordan Cropper on the bench. Uh, he will bring him on uh, for Anas Abdo. Anas Abdo is a good option, but um, we're not going to use him. Matthias Kate is a is my like playmaker, but we won't be using him today. So we've got our place. We've got everything set up. Um, yeah, everyone is ready. Team shots will be control structured. This is the match against Birmingham, and Birmingham are going to come at me as well. So let's look at the scouting report for Birmingham. They are not holding anything back. They also are playing with a 4-3-3. <laughs> so, Birmingham control flexible with two wing backs. Now, when do I use three-man formations? I use them... I mean, when I see a team that has got wing backs attacking me, this, it doesn't matter what configuration they're using. The moment I see wing backs attacking, 4 3 threes become very appealing. Even my... Um, I've, any system that has got width is going to be... Uh, a lot of fun to play with against that system. So we've got, we're going to watch it on Comprehensive at the start. And uh, we're off. Taylor to Dinzel. To Meglo. Um, O'Connor to Howard to Mackenzie. To Cavare. Cavare plays it out to Taylor. Taylor's back. He's going to hold his ball up. No, he loses it to M Mikel. We have a free kick to defend Balotelli. Very important for our team to handle Balotelli today. Uh, we've got three defenders against their three. Basically, we actually have five against their three, so I'm happy. O'Connor with the throw. Finds Pope. Back to O'Connor to Penfold. Penfold, I uh, can't find McKenzie. Balotelli to King King over the top. Uh, he's offside. Denzel to O'Connor. I like that guy's name. Is, my name's Denzel. <laughs> Cavari. Back to Howard. Howard to Cavari goes wide. Uh, looks for options to cross by his uh, corner. All right, one other thing. I want to check whether these guys have run wide. Yes, they have run wide with the ball. We have a corner now. Come on, boys. What a corner from O'Connor. Well, they're going to have a lot of fun things to say about my team. Taylor, the advance forward buys a foul. He does. Balotelli. Has brought him down and Paolo tell he is in trouble. He's going to get a warning from the referee, Kingstonian, uh, having the lion's share of possession at the moment. Oh, corner with the uh, free kick, Penfold to Denzel. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I've got a player called Denzel. Long goal kick. Ah, Paolo Telly, you're not going to get there. Denzel is there. Pope, okay, this is how it they doesn't take it down well. We play it out. Good block. Balotelli is inside the box. He is offside. 17 minutes in. Possession. 66% is ours. Bettinelli. Valerie Bettinelli. So, actress. Penfold. Penfold holds the ball up. Gets it to O'Connor. O'Connor does something that is not very good. And look at them. They cover their zone. King takes a shot. But Lee Burge, our new keeper. Second time asking. Handles the ball. Denzel. Comes up, picks up the pieces, Penfold to McKenzie to Howard. Howard out to O'Connor. O'Connor down for Penfold. Penfold delivers across Pope's inside the box on McKenzie to Taylor. Taylor makes no mistake. It's 1 0. Yes. Um, it's a. I don't know. Am I excited when I win with a 5 2 3? Not really. Uh, let's look at how they defended this. Okay, they got two at the back. We beat them. Oh. Pope. They couldn't clear the danger. These four guys, we got four in the box waiting. I mean, four outside the box waiting. It's just, it's just poor defending from Birmingham. Balotelli with the free kick. Oh, it takes a wicked deflection and goes in. Birmingham have leveled the match. Balotelli, a debut goal for him. Mario Balotelli takes... Ah, who's this? Taylor, you never turn your face. I don't care if he gets smashed in the face. You break your nose. You face the bloody ball. You don't turn your face. You cover your hands with your face. I don't care. 
Pope. Out to Penfold. Penfold. Again, we pull them out of shape. Pope. Oh, this, this is good work from Pope. We get a... Bettinelli saves the day again. Corner taken. Oh, that was... This is my set-piece routine. Near post, far post. Right. So, I like that. Because if it connects, man, we're, we're going to get a goal from a corner routine. Penfold out wide, crossing it in. Uh, we get a throw in. Boys are doing okay. Penfold is the captain for today's game. We've got Jordan Cropper sitting on the bench. He's a youngster who's just joined. Uh, I, no, he's actually one of ours. Jordan Cropper, if I'm not mistaken. History, career stats. Yeah, we brought... Hey, sorry, he's not one of ours. We took him on a free transfer from Hull. Penfold with the ball. Oh, they bust us wide open. Adams goes wide. Adams comes near. Birch makes the save. We have to defend this. Palmer with the corner. We do well. They clear the danger. Pope can't get there. Palmer gets it back into the box. It's a deflection again. It's a second deflected goal. Denzel. Denzel. What have you done, Denzel? Denzel has conceded a goal. 40 minutes. I'm not worried. Mackenzie, they're pretty high up the pitch. Cavare shoots. It's an equaliser. Uh, wasn't worried. 2-2 two, two is the score. Birmingham 2 and Kingstonian 2. Mackenzie. Okay, they, they're so deep. we got one striker is in an offside position. Howard. Then they play it to Kavari. It's a sideways pass. It's not forward, so it's not offside. Brilliant. Ball Palmer to Cooper to Miguel to Morrison. Morrison plays out to Colin to Balotelli to Bradbury. Plays it to King now. King shoots. Birch makes the save. Okay. Now we are looking at a scoreline of 2 all. O'Connor reads that brilliantly. Finds Pope. Pope looks up. Pope. Play the pass, Pope. Oh, smart. Gets Kevin O'Connor, the wing back into play. Kavari, the other wing backs across. This is dangerous. Pope. Howard to Penfold. Penfold smashes it in. It's 3-2. Yes. My 5-2-3 feels overpowered in this game. It's very hard for me to be excited when I play with this 5-2-3. Kavari, but it's very strong. Um, be, the reason why it's uh, tremendously strong is because... Um, I feel like we've got seven players in defense all the time. And then during our transitions, this basically plays like a 3-4-3. Look at how we set up. 3-4-3. Three, three. In midfield, we actually have four players in midfield. So during the midfield transition, we have four. And then we attack. So the balance has been created by the four and the three. So the four... So when we attack, we get seven. When we defend, we get seven. So we get a seven versus seven, which is crazy. So Taylor out. Now he goes... And look at this again. One, two, three, four, three. The defenders are all over the place. Pope. Ah, Pope should have done a lot better. Uh, central defenders come out to pick up the pieces. Half time. I feel like the 3 4 3 is very, very strong in this game. I mean, this version of the 3 4 3. Forget uh, the orthodox one. But um, but I feel that, yeah, we can. I, I don't. I mean, I, I've been. I hardly ever play with this tactic. I have it around, I call it Milan or Chipamonga because it's so much more fun. And it's like, all he, all he needs is a system that, you know, any team that's attacking me, I you know, just, you know, you come attack and that's it. I've whipped this out. All I need is attacking wingbacks. I see attacking wingbacks and I use the system. It just ravages teams. So any anytime I see this, it's over. This system here has got, it's, it's potentially very strong, but it, this is how it's going to play. It's going to have one, two, three so these three are going to be in the midfield transition so they you, they will get quite a number of players involved in the midfield transition so this has got an eight in midfield problem is when it defends defense is not very balanced uh so it basically has got one two three four four defending five six so in terms of defensive numbers this is actually weaker than this because this gets seven back this gets six this guy is always going to be late so you, the only time he gets involved into the defensive transitions is when you're in your own half. So basically, in pure num from a numbers point of view, this is actually 
This has actually more players involved in a defensive transition. When in an attacking transition, naturally it's stronger because it's got more players, provided you can control the pitch. So this is defensively very strong and offensively strong as well. So the only way, uh, when do we feel weak is when they have set pieces in and around this area. That's when they have numerically superior numbers. There we go. They have numerically superior numbers to us. So they should be able to score a goal if they can break past my defence. So Kingstonian leading 3-2, they have a corner. So it's all about transitions and the number of players they can get back. They, they, the problem for them is this Bradbury is the problem. Oh, they've changed now. So now they've got balanced up. They've got like four entry. Now they've got seven back in defence. Howard out to O'Connor to Denzel. Denzel shoots. So now they've got seven, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will all help in defense, but they've got a problem here. You see this big gap? So we should be able to take advantage of that. O'Connor plays it. I should tell O'Connor not to play risky passes anymore. Bettinelli, Maguire reads that, Lawrence, Colin. Now you will notice the, the boys coming back to defend. Oh, this is dangerous. King is inside the box. He shoots. It's a great save from the keeper. Eh, yeah, can need. I probably, yeah, I, I'm probably gonna play this for a couple of matches because, um, why am I using this system? I need to get people. I mean, I I feel like you know people should become a bit more familiar with this system. I start using it a bit more. I mean, make life. If it's oh, if it's gonna be a nuisance, uh, in the game, then it should it be ours to fix. It should be SI's to fix because I do believe that it's a bit overpowered. O'Connor with the ball. Finds Penfold. Penfold to McKenzie. Mc yeah, it's another goal. Cavari. It's 4-2. Our know, throw-ins are deadly, I think. Man, the throw-in was super deadly. Look at this. O'Connor to Penfold. This is bad defending. And Okay. McKenzie plays. Okay, there he comes in. He arrives. Unmark. He is ball watching. These two guys are coming this way. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether that's that's a good set piece. I mean, it's not really a good set piece. It's like hopelessly bad defending. They're just watching Cavari again. Now you see one, two, three, four. They've got five back. They've got their two midfielders here. And I think they have a player sent off through injury. One, two, three. Yeah, four, three. Sorry, no. This is a problem because the closing down settings are not correct. Or the roles are not good. So my players are going to overnumber them in midfield. McKenzie out wide to Kavare, crosses it back to Howard, Howard slides it, ooh, it could have been another goal, but we are just camping in Birmingham's half right now, Kavare to Howard, Howard to Taylor, Taylor back, Kavare passing it, corner, oh, they managed to clear, oh, we have another throw-in, we so far scored two goals from throw-ins from that position. <coughs> so... Should, do you want me to continue with this system? Just let me know. I mean, I can have fun with it, but yeah. But we did we did say we wanted to see what it's like to use a five two three. Uh, uh, we have the right three in mid. We have the right three in midfield as well to play the system. Pope away. Pope shoots. Oh, the keeper makes a great save. This could have been an embarrassing scoreline for Birmingham. As long as they play those two wing backs in attack. Uh, sorry, those two wing backs as they, in that configuration, they're gonna lose. They're gonna leave their flanks exposed to us. Taylor wins that. Okay, Palmer. So what we're gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna change the tactics slightly. So what we're gonna? I'm gonna ask him to become a deep line forward support. I'm gonna ask this guy to be a deep line forward on support. I'm gonna move Penfold into the middle. Uh, I've got. Um, we're going to bring and turn this guy into an advance forward on a tank. So we've got Pope and Taylor. He's 9. Pope is 14. I've got Jordan Cropper, who's an 8. Horatio Hurst. I'm looking at strength. Okay, we're going to rest, uh, rest Taylor now. Um, we're going to give uh, Solomon Sambu a run out. He'll take over from McKenzie. All right, with about five minutes left in the game. Howard, Penfold, 
to Hurst. Hurst holds the ball up, looks for Pope, but Pope is not going to be fast enough to get there. Kavari to Howard, Howard to Sambu. Sambu slices it to Pope. Penfold looks for a chance to make it three. A three goals for him today? No, two goals. He, yeah, he hasn't. He has only scored one goal rather. The player of this match was undoubtedly Robbie McKenzie. He created two assists, but I think they both came from throw-ins. Got a few more minutes. Uh, Here we go, Morrison to Coyle, call back to Lawrence, Balotelli, looks for like Adams, oh, that header is wide, that header was wide. Goalkeeper to Penfold, Penfold loses out, uh, Sambu, Sambu to O'Connor, O'Connor's inside the box, slides it, ooh, that was close, Pope almost got inside to score. Um, this is another configuration for my 5-2-3, Denzel to Penfold. Uh, but it's headed away. We have another corner. I don't think there's going to be much time for this corner. Yeah, that's it. Um, Birmingham, who were expected to win, they completely got hammered by five to uh, five two three. So there were two three men, three striker formations that went toe to toe. My three striker formation versus the AI three striker formation, and the AI three striker formation fell short in terms of uh, shots on goal. Kingstonian, um, let's look at all the shots that we had. Shots on target, shots on goal. Majority of my shots are all inside the box. I only had what, three shots or maybe four if you count this. Most of them inside the box. What about Birmingham? Birmingham also had a lot of shots inside the box. So we, we did create, give them a chance to try and score. Um, what about the pass combinations? The pass combinations for... Kingstonian looks solid. We work, we work the ball up from the back. Birmingham, on the other hand, isolation. Uh, something that I spotted very early in the game. This The back line wasn't really working with the keeper. Here we work very well with the keeper. And if I look at my pass combinations, the keeper is going to be somewhere here. But look at this. Kavare to Howard. Kavare to lift uh, Lyle Taylor. Then we've got Kavare is one of the more important players. He's my wing back on support. Uh, this is important because in my system, the the, the tactic is pretty simple. Um, it's I think of it as a three four three. Most people see they see two. Uh, most people who see the tactic go, yeah, you only play with two central midfielders. You shouldn't be controlling midfield. I'm going like, huh? I'm playing with four central. I'm playing with four midfielders. During the during the transition between mid uh, defense to midfield and midfield to attack, I have four. So I've got these four in midfield. And then this guy drops it, I get five. So what really happens is, the most important thing to understand is how you transition from defense midfield to attack. It's not the number of midfielders you have. It's how many players you have involved in that transition. And I'm playing on structures, so I should, if, I should be nice and you know secure with the knowledge that I get these four guys doing the job that I expect them to do. So I got one, two, three, four, all getting involved. And uh, during the uh, midfield transition, and then the danger becomes the attack transition. The attack transition is seven. So this tactic is a seven v seven, seven in defense, seven in attack. It's a very dangerous tactic, and I hope that more people get familiar with this tactic. And if you see this tactic being used in an FM Cup competition, you got to be careful. There's only one slight difference. There are tactics like this available on. Um, on, uh, for downloads, but mine isn't available for download because it's got a slightly different configuration. So, well, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little look at the Kingstonian start to the season. Should I continue with this 5-2-3? I need your feedback. Uh, we've, we've got, I'm part of me is interested. If Kingstonian were to use the 5-2-3 this season with me managing them, how far can they go? How many goals can they score? This is part of the thing that I'm quite interested in. Will we overpower and totally destroy the championship in the process, make a mockery of the whole system? I'm interested. If the AI continues to use wingbacks, I certainly need to go into three. I would definitely want to strike them with a three. I mean, that's how we normally play a game. Even with, uh, if it's FM17, if this if we place a wing backs on a tank, why would I want to hold myself back? I won't take advantage of the flanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, show today. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustinet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank my patrons for their continued support of this channel. You guys take care, have a good one, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.